105.9 The Creek Girl Music Real Radio. The Cactus Blossoms. That is brand new music. Please don't call me crazy. Creekside Mornings. Tony, Charles, David. Yes, I am recording. Alex Von Coito. <laughs> Telling me how to do my gig all morning, man. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm uh, a, little, a little bit better that you're recording this time. I am recording. I'm not going to email the file to you, though. Oh, okay. You're not going to get it, but Maybe I am recording it for he'll, posterity. He'll mail it to you. <laughs> Making Mayhem a uh, big week this week, man. Three home games. Yeah. yeah. Thursday, yeah. Friday, and Saturday night. Yes, sir. Thursday night is college night. Friday night, superhero night. And one of the big ones, Saturday night is camo night. You guys are doing the special Mossy Oak jerseys. Mm-hmm. They're going to have a, a jersey auction. Now, being camouflaged jerseys, does it make the players harder to see on the ice? Because they're camouflaged. I don't see. That's a good question. I don't know if we're getting like Arctic camo. That would be good. That would be really cool. Yeah. 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 That would make a lot of sense. So. I don't know if it's too late to put in that request. It probably is. I would say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Considering it's Saturday, probably. But you, you guys are doing the uh, jersey auction after the game on Saturday night, which is always huge. Uh, people love collecting those one-off jerseys for mm-hmm. the Making Mayhem. Yeah. Well, you were there this past weekend. You saw how many how many Simpsons or '90s themed jerseys there were in the yep. audience. They're definitely walking through the crowd. People wear them. Yeah. David, those uh, look really good. David was the in-game host Friday night. We won five or four one. Four one. On Friday night um, against Huntsville. It was a uh, home-home weekend. You guys played a home game on Friday, went to Huntsville on Saturday. Um, that was a shootout. That was a that was a high-scoring game, 5-4. It was, yeah. Uh, Macon split the home-home with Huntsville. But uh, you brought in one of the Mayhem players, Jarrett Cup. Good morning, Jared. How are you, sir? Good morning. Thank you for having me. I'm doing well. So uh, tell us a little bit about you. Where are you from, Jarrett? Uh, so I grew up two hours north of Toronto, back uh, up north in Canada. Uh, this is my first year with the Mayhem. I'm excited to be here this morning. Uh, I'm just uh, just looking forward to what's holding in the future. When uh, when did you start playing hockey? Uh, so I think I started when I was about three or four. Um, loved it ever since. I actually probably hated it my first year. My dad told me that I quit because I couldn't skate, but you, know, <laughs> you obviously who, got who, over who that. Can, who can skate when they first try, right? <laughs> exactly. Um, so uh, you played through high school. Did you play college uh, hockey? Yeah, Did I, you go straight semi-pro? I've played my entire life. Um, went through college, played uh, college just south of Boston. So I went there for four years. And then last year, Caleb Cameron, number 10 on uh, making with us he got me out here for a couple weeks and then this year since I was done college and you know, I was looking for a place to play and now I'm here very nice you enjoy making so far yeah love it um it's a lot of fun it's a good uh good community and the fans are great yeah the fans are great I was talking to Alex off air um Friday night we were sitting in front of a family um they drive 80 miles from Pitts Georgia to come up and uh check out the Mayhem home games and they have a little girl, and, and she was she was so sweet. She's cute as a button. Looked like she was maybe seven years old. <laughs> she was insane. She was a crazy hockey fan. Knew all you guys, was <laughs> screaming out names. Just, she was having a blast. Yeah. And that's the point that I want to stress, is that these Mayhem games, if you've not been to one, they are great family entertainment. You can really have a great time at these Mayhem games. Good for kids. And the players really get into the uh, support from the kids, too. That's got to be a great part of it. Yeah, it's always nice to get the kids out, um, especially down here where hockey's not as you know big as the other sports. Um, it's always good to grow the sport, and you know the more fans that we can have, the better. Absolutely. And you don't have to understand the nuances of the rules of hockey no. to enjoy a hockey game. And I was talking <laughs> about that because I want to... You're a defenseman. Yet over the course of the last uh, last few games, you've been on a, a scoring tear. So how does that happen as a defenseman that you're uh, scoring so many goals on offense? Um, you know, it's it's a little bit of puck luck and a little bit of just being in the right place at the right time. And I'm gonna ding the bell for puck luck. <laughs> I'm gonna steal that from you. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but as a hockey player, you have to be able to to do dual duty. Even if you're a defenseman, you have to be able to play offense too because those situations arise. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, no matter what position you play, it's it's huge to play, be able to play both ends of the rink. And, you know, I've just been fortunate enough to um, contribute offensively lately. And, um, yeah, we need scoring and defensive from everybody. All right. Well, Jared, thank you for coming on the show this morning. Great to meet you. It's always good to uh, put a um, 
put a face with a name on the back of the jersey <laughs> I gotta from say, the team. I, I think uh, his his first goal with the mayhem was a few weeks ago. It was at home against Birmingham, I want to say, and it was one of the best goals we've scored all season. It was uh, <laughs> just a rocket from the blue line, probably a 55-footer. It was wow. Yeah, <laughs> far nice. down. I appreciate it. <laughs> nice job. Alex, let's talk about uh, playoffs because even though the, uh, sin- the end of the season is not until the end of March, Got to start thinking about that at this point in the season. Where do the Mayhem stand right now? Well, right now we're uh, we're a point ahead of Birmingham, um, so it's a tight race. Uh, we've been kind of neck and neck with them all season. Um, we got the, the split with Huntsville, so that was that was uh, that was pretty good for us. They were on a five game winning streak when yeah. they came into our building for the home and home yep. series. So you shut that down real quick Friday night. Yeah, and then we were able to compete with them really close on their home turf on Saturday, which was important. Uh, it was a five four decision, so that was close. Who's um, leading the league right now? Right now, Peoria, who's coming into our building next weekend for three so. games. So this is going to be a big weekend. Yeah. Yeah, and they've got a huge point lead on everyone else right now in the standings, and and you know some people have sort of discredited the run that they're on because they've played some you know weaker opponents in their schedule than we have, but um, you, you still have to look at them as a really dangerous team, and you have to credit what they've been able to do this year. So, but this weekend a great opportunity for the mayhem to edge up on Peoria in the standings, which is important when you choose your uh, choose your opponents for the playoffs. That's right. Yeah. We're so, doing the, the challenge round again this year. So the top seed chooses the eighth seed, who they want to face in the first round. And then we the, the second seed, if we were to be the second seed, for example, we would choose the seventh or the next best or next right. worst, yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. All right. Sense. So a very important uh, home game stand. Right. Get out and support the mayhem Thursday night. Anthony will be your in-game host. Friday night's David. That's right. And I got to ask, is uh, is Mac going to be back this week? Is he, is he going to return from the yeah, upside down? Yeah, where was Mac He was stuck in the upside down. He was lost, yeah. yeah. You guys didn't hear? We, we got him out of the upside down. So. Good. Oh, he, good. He and Barb were... Uh, yeah. Eating that goose. I'm not going to yeah. get into details on how we found him, but we got him out <laughs> But he'll there. be back. You had to so go I'm in, good. didn't you, Alex? You had to Goodness. go into the upside down and drag him back out. I don't want to relive be- it. Because uh, if you guys noticed... Um, Colin had to go out there and do push-ups. <laughs> I did notice that. <laughs> in, in Mac's absence, uh, Colin dropped down and did a few push-ups in his, uh, in his suit. And I will point out, during the Kruger Chuckapuck, you've always got that one little tiny kid out there who does push-ups and then stands up and raises his arms yeah, so the does. crowd will applaud. Yeah, you guys are back in the, the dressing room. This kid... I mean, yeah, he, he draws a lot of attention. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. The he gets crowd, a lot of standing o- ovation, and uh, <laughs> everyone else is like, dude, pick up some more pucks. And he's just like, <laughs> yeah, no. reveling in it. <laughs> Worship me. Worship me. And uh, oh, okay. Saturday night, I'll, I'll be the in game host. Oh, great. So we'll see you guys this weekend. All right. Making Mayhem get those tickets for the uh, three game run against Peoria this weekend. It's 100.9 The Creek. Here's some Jamestown Revival. Mm-hmm.